Hello everybody, welcome to Kryptonic. My name is Amanda and today we're continuing on with Fran Bo. I really enjoy this game. I don't have much new about this. Oh, that's right, so in the last video, um, so in the last video I was trying to find all the little stuff and I'm going to continue to try and find all that little stuff now. It has to be somewhere in this room because I can't get out of this room. So there's got to be like a hidden floorboard or something, I'm thinking. Okay! I do believe I didn't know I could do that. Alrighty, let's see where this leads me now. What did that do? Oh, there's a door. <laughs> I totally missed the door. Okay, so I've got that. That took a long time to work out. Hello, giant eye. Can you poke it? Please go poke it in the eye. What's a big eye? What are you looking at? You. You're looking at my beautiful face? Do I know you? You seem familiar. I was hoping you'd poke it in the eye. There is anybody living here? Mm, the door is locked. Ew, it's all bloody, that's true. Hello, open the door please. Why is everything locked? Oh, key. Hi, Mr. Key. Hi, <laughs> stupid. Use key. Oh, that one. The right key, it's too big. Use key on this one. There we go. Kind of fall into it, but okay. Oh, look, there's another key there. Okay. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get the key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key there. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Ah, Mabuka. Who is Mabuka? You don't remember Mabuka? I remember Mabuka. You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now. Just leave. But, Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. Even I knew this. The dark, darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. You learned about Mabuka in, um, what was his name, Leon's book? You learn about him in there, and we've heard of him be, uh, um, after that as well. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I in the fifth reality? I thought Ramor was the king here. Ah, Ramor, the terrible black, the son of the darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I have said enough. Alright, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Jacket. Is this Itward's it closing? But where is he then? inside the little house. Oh, a little message in the pocket. The little house? Oh, I see. The key is inside the little house, apparently. Hello? I'm assuming that's actually meant to do something at some point. I'll probably find a number that I need to dial. It would forgot his hat. Maybe the hat for forgot his head. What? Hello. Sorry to interrupt you while you're in the bathtub. I need that soap. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? Not really, actually. It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heartbeat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with hydrating? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. 
But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you, just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright then, take it. It's all yours. Yay! Okay, that's one thing I need. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like so. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads. Their beautiful baby faces. Alright then. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. So there is a... I could fly, but... I could try flying, but what if I can't fly? You took my soap. Why did you take my soap? Do you have hygiene problems? Okay, so... If I... Oh, look, there's a tap. Apparently we missed that tap. Oh. Which means we should be able to use them to fill that up. Yeah. Yeah, turn it off. So we don't waste water. Now that I've got them, I can come... That thing. To get the key. So, come back in here. Only assume this is the only way to do to get that the tree Kabooey Well don't miss Yeah you only have one left so actually hit him this time Wow I don't feel the sadness anymore thank you Don't worry I'm happy you feel better I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. A stick! There, a piece of meat. You can plant it if you like. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you sir. I have to go now. I must find my kitty. I hope you find it. See you around. Oh, there's a freaking key! How, seriously, how did how did I miss the key before? I don't, I don't know. There before, I swear. I swear that was not there before. Okay, so can you open another door? Oh yeah, that's going 104. How the hell? I can't believe I didn't see a key there before. What the hell was that about? Intruder, infiltrator, why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Okula. Okula, the eye from Mion. Behold my beauty. Yeah, you are. I'm not gonna finish that. Oh, I'm sorry, what a big eye you are. You must see, ev you must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat. How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal queen princess? Royal queen princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends, how lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. Not again. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, the fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him! It's my friend Mr. Binai! I have to go and find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave and I respect bravery very much. I thank you, Akula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you round. Yay! I all of a sudden have a hairbrush. I'm assuming that's going to be good for something. Hey! Oh, this is going to get me to do. Oh, that's cool. I can climb through the painting to get to where I need to be. I have the cord. I have the bottle, which I can now come back there and fill it up. It says insert button. 
Oh, I think I disconnected the machine. It has no power. Whoops. Can I put it back? And I probably should check that out first, actually, shouldn't I? Seems I won't budge. Maybe I have to give it a coin or something. I don't have a coin or something. Man! Wait. Big button. It said insert the button. How do I, how do I, how do I get the button? I need the button. Give me the button. Ha uh ha -huh. It did say insert the button, not the coin. Where I was, a button, a coin, it was a something. It was a, even, I needed a something. I knew that much. I've been playing this for way too long. Okay, Mr. Button is with you. Yeah, guess it will bloody work. And there goes my button now. What? Okay, pliers. Aha! Ha ha ha! I know how that can help. Okay, uh, that's all you're going to give me. So you, the players, will help me get the key out of the guy's safe. Uh huh? Ba ha ha, ha ha, ha. Oh. Players, use on you. Ah uh, ha uh, ha uh, ha. Uh. I'm sorry, that must have hurt. I feel guilty for doing that, but I need that key. Thank you! So now... Now all I need is the glove, I believe. Oh, and the wake-up clock. One glove and one wake-up clock. Now, you. Use. You. But it said 103! It said it was the key for 103, so I thought it would be the key for 103 to get into 103. Apparently it's the key for 102. Die! Woo! Big kitty! Soft kitty! A wake up clock. Perfect. Hmm. It's tightly tied. That's okay. There's a reason we still have a knife. I got you, little wake up clock. The back of the giant cat. This must be for something important. It's quite dark in there. Okay. Get the life out of me. Wasn't expecting a cat to move. Oh, wait, wait. Glove, glove. Yay! Now I have everything I need to make this. So I would like to combine you with the. Okay, what do I have to start with then? Oh, I've got nothing. I know they need to go together, but it's not working. Well, hello, dearie. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, uh, let, just let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck in this tree? I am fairly, firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. It worked! What's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. Oh. But how? You're a Lucifer. All Lucifers I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. 
I feel like I need to fly away. Now I use the stick to go over the key. I can reach it. Now I have the key. Yay! Can I keep going up? No, I can only go down. Okay. Now I have the key to the last door. Yay! Let's go. Alrighty. So I just got the key. Yay! Let's go in 103, which I don't think I'm looking forward to because it's all bloody. Okay. Hello, Mr. Deer. Hey. Okay. Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. You're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. And how do you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy idea of Cogwin... Cogwind? Cogwind... Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume, I assume you've been to Ithestar. No, people stop saying that word. Horrid place, I must say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you, you fragile little mind will be safe there. Your fra- Let me try that again. Good for you, your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Oh! Let's build it on the back of the- okay. I uh, kind of missed about the whole bit. Oopsie, I kind of missed the whole giant cat back bit. Giant black cat bit, oh, whatever. Miss the cat bit. Okay, so now if I use you on here. Is that what this is for, really? So I put everything in here. That wasn't creepy at all. Thank you! Really? I couldn't just... Okay. Cool! Now that I have that bit, I can go back in here. And I can wake the bitch up. Let's wake the bitch up. And get my cat back. Why does my cat keep getting stolen? I don't like it. Beware of Mabuka! The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, a human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. You're 11. I thought you were only 10. You must have just turned 11. A human ma in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Ramor. I think he is your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills looked like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you. Don't you know? You are selected by the five realms of its essential is You are selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of his essential existence was created parallel with time. 
excuse me for a second, I have to take my earrings out. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key. Who told you this? The great Volokas from Pre Premiv told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the Red Sea. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did you... Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents. Mother Mabuka, can you imagine how that... I think Remor killed... I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how that feels? I am all of those feelings, Frambo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Remor killed my parents? I thought you were nice. What gave you the impression that she was nice? She's the mother of all darkness. Why would she be nice? She'd be evil. I'm sorry, I know you're only 10. I know you're only 10 and you're so innocent and all that. But come on, really? She's the mother of all evil. She's the mother of darkness. I am curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Please don't. Oh yeah, I saw that. What's with this catchy music? I mean, this, this sort of music isn't supposed to be catchy. It's elevator music! Ha ha! Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Where is my knitting needle, eh? Did you stab all your friends with it? What? Knitting needle? Uh, you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, eh? You little beast. Take a number, would you, and wait your turn in the waiting room. But, Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Except you just did repeat yourself. Oh, that creature's body is made out of babies' faces. The bath boys said something about this. Oh, yeah. I think it is... I think it's the hijacker. You stay away from the hijacker. Take the tickets. Number seven. Yay. Erg, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days? Ha, huh, but I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone not, how long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. <coughs> Excuse me everyone, but is this where is this there? Oh, <coughs> Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye is blinded. My R eye is blinded? I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How, how can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Uh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. 
You've only known us for a few minutes. That's a very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do with uncommon... Bleh. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It is not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. Huh, alright, thank you. Bye. Right. Can I take your ticket? Can I take your ticket? Oh, I want to be next. Give me your ticket. You see the screamer had number two, it's almost my turn. I want to be next, give me your ticket. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. If I'm in pain, I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Okay, so am I going to find that? I thought that was a heart. That's a baby. I thought that was a heart on the wall. Okay. But... This doesn't help me. Maybe there's something else out here I can do. Can you help me? Excuse me, I need your help. Of course. W of course you do. What can I help you for? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has number ticket two? Number... Wow. Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room. Waiting. Hmm, let me see. I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony within him. Wow. But is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you feel his bottle will do it. But don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm a very problematic <laughs> I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now, Mabuka. Oh, no, I don't know what to do now. Mabuka says that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the best comfort in, in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Ithester and be happy. Hmm, lovely pain. So profound. Yay! The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Yay! Okay, so I've got the tears. A friend, which I give to the creature over here. And he'll give me his ticket. And then I'm next in line and hopefully that thing will take over like straight away, even though he's been waiting for like three months. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me? Ha ha ha. How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright. There you go. Yay! And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Yay! It ticked over to number two straight away. Yeah, poor thing. He's been waiting for months and he loses his ticket. And then all of a sudden, it ticks over to number two. Yeah, poor thing. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. 
but I'm not sick. I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Huh. Lucky? But how do I get an appointment, then? Ah, uh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. And that's where it comes in. Okay. But why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly because I'm... Because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Okay, alright, I'll go and make the call then. I knew the phone had to come in for something. So go back out here. Oh damn, this is a lot of effort just to get my key back. Can people just please stop taking away Mr. Midnight? Maybe I can just use you rather than having to remember that number because I will not remember that number. Man, I have to remember that number. Okay. 0122 I'm going to take a photo because I'm not going to remember. I kid you not, I'm taking a photo. Are you insane? Call us. I am not insane, thank you very much. And the number is... Oh, it comes up there any... Well, fine. I wasn't expecting that to come up, but yeah, whatever. Now yeah, you've been nice to me and after I make a fool of myself, you stupid thing. Okay. Hello? Yes, you told me to call and make an appointment. Hmm, it's Fran Bo. Uh-huh. I'm available now. No, no, uh, no, yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great, thank you, bye. Yes, bye. That was the most confusing phone call ever. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bo is my name and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. All right. Hello? I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human, don't you eat me? Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. This is true. I'm so glad you didn't eat me. Oh, well, hello, you little dick. Why? 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 Why you? Why you? Why does it have to be you? <sighs> you haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are a more, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I, ca I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am a more, the terrible black prince of darkness. Really? I never would have guessed. I know who you are. Don't try and act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dern? I enjoy immensely seeing you s your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you whate for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. You won't allow. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you. Who did it? You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. You stay right away from me. No, it can't be. Stop it. No, 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 no. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. What? 
Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. That's horrid! She... She killed her own parents? I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me. I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find my kitty and leave. I have to find kitty and leave. I... I don't believe for a second that she killed her parents. I don't believe it for a second. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Her. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to Ithistro, my darling. Palantos can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Duran, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Well, let's not flick the switch, because I'm fairly sure that will kill him. Dr. Duran, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Duran, wake up. Are you still alive? Are you alive, sir? Ugh, what should I do to wake him up? Well, let's not electrocute him. A syringe. It has red fluid inside. What can it be? Let's not... Let, no. Oh, it's electric. That wouldn't be good either. Let's not electrocute him. Ah, huh, these buttons don't do anything, really. I could stab you. That'll wake you up. No, I really don't want to use that. I don't want to electrocute you though. Hee hee hee. Maybe this will wake him up. You are so evil. That is so evil. Ah, damn. What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dunn. It's me, Fran. Ah, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bow, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I don't like... I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Oh, I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, what are you... Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran, the same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago I was studying the magnific magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Hmm, did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remor did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What? I don't understand how... You could be so calm about it. It was you holding the knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remor all the time. Why does he hunt me? Remor is a ma manifestation of your weaknesses. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Fran? Fran? Yeah. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let's go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. 
Come now. Come on. Let's go now. So... He sent Ramor to kill her parents so that she would get strong, grow stronger and... What? Why? Why, why would you... You orphan that poor child. I don't like you. You're weird. I'm, prob I'm probably totally wrong. I'm probably totally wrong, but... I'm fairly sure that's what they just said, was it not? <laughs> Friend, my dear, listen to me. No, I don't like you. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. By killing her parents? When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. So she wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine, of course. But there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No! No! That's all she had left! All she had left was Mr. Midnight. And you just... Oh, this game is doing my head in! No, no, Kitty! Come on, friend, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. Yeah, you bitch. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you, and so you should. Ah, I hate you! Please push her off this. Stop it, friend. Help. Help. Please help. No. You can die. I don't like you. You've ruined this poor kid's freaking life. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me, I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dern. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now, looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. It would! It would! Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who, who, who are you? I'm Itward, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ecto bro, ecto pro, pylon trust, mon, <laughs> monocast. Goska, it ward, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. <gasps> Mr. Midnight! I'm so happy! Oh my god, I'm so happy, I actually want to cry! Little friend must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocent of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran. You will be able to walk towards light. Oh my god. I got angry when she threw Mr. Midnight off the edge, but I cried 
well I didn't cry, I was ready to cry when when they shot Fran and now Mr. Midnight's back and I felt so happy. Oh please save her, please save her for the love of God. I am so happy but I'm so sad at the same time, it's so conflicting. <gasps> Fran! Ah, what happened? It what? Palantris? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go, alright? Dr. Dern, look, it was... It is Itwald and Palantris. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? <gasps> what the... He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. Okay. Time to get out. You really must leave now. Yeah, time to get out. But can he come with us, please? He has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is to make him believe that all of this was a dream. That's a good start. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he is safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be proud of you. You really think so? Oh, thank you, Palantris. Alright, go. And Mr. Midnight, go too. Just... Now let's send Dr. Dern home. Marcel Dern... Onam Vekma... Sudden Sala Ekto Something like that. Goodbye, Dr. Dern. Let's go now, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. Hee <laughs> hee, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. Achievement unlocked the end. Oh my god, that was such a good game! I really enjoyed that! Oh, my emotions are running wild at the moment. Um, I wonder if there's anything after the crits. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wait and see if there's anything after the crits. You know. Alright, that is Frambo done. It, 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 it's complete, it's over. Um, thoughts on the game? That was that was a really good game. Um, I didn't know the only person throughout that entire game that I trusted was Mr. Midnight. He was the only person throughout the entire game that I trusted from day dot and for, from from yeah day dot minute dot whatever from the time I started until the end of the game. Mr. Midnight was the only the only creature in that entire game that I actually trusted. I think that was done really well. Um, because at first you couldn't trust trust the doctor, Dr. Dern, but by the end he was a good guy. So he was evil in the beginning and, and a good guy in the end. So that was really good. Um, you thought maybe Aunt Grace was a good girl, but it turns out Aunt Grace was a complete freaking bitch and we don't like her. Um, um, it, it would, I thought, I didn't trust so much. didn't really trust in the beginning um i didn't like him i'm just like what are you you're not right let's not not go there and then by the end i trusted him more um well palantris was different palantris i i trusted but yeah but no fran uh, f so f for me fran and mr midnight like they were they were the constants fran and mr Mid obviously fran was a constant but mr midnight was a constant throughout the whole game um, Mr. Midnight kept us sane enough 
but Mr. Midnight, Mr. Midnight kept the saying. That was a really good game. You really built a connection with, I, I really built a connection with the characters, and that is that is something that is really good when you play when you play games or even when you watch shows. Building that connection with the characters is a really good thing to to have. So the fact that they managed to portray that in this game was really good. They did a really good job. I liked the, the makeout of it, the layout of it. It was good. The storyline was fantastic. Um, I really, really enjoyed that game. It just brought me back. I just wanted to keep going. The only, the only thing is, the all the puzzles. Once you hit Ithrastra, whatever the hell, however you say that. Once you hit there, and all the puzzles started, and the the riddles, the damn riddles. But that's because, that is mostly because I'm not good at riddle, riddles. But it took a lot to get through. The game, like you don't see everything that I've done because I cut out a lot of just the the walking around trying to work this stuff out I cut a lot of that out so you don't see a lot that I actually do um, and I did have to at some points I had to get on my phone and get help from someone um, I used Jack a few times Jack Septikai I used him a few times I used a walkthrough at one point um, so there was a few times there where I had to get on my phone and, and get help to figure out what the hell you actually do. Um, but I did work out most of them by myself. But no, it was it was it was really good. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was it was different. It was a good it was because it was horror. That, that was the whole theme. It's a horror game. And it was actually quite a good horror game. Um, Considering the type of game it is, you know, it's a point click. Considering the type of game it is, it was really good, and they portrayed the horror well. Um, the one person you try, I really enjoyed it. I, I I don't know, you know, I'm probably just um I'm probably just speaking shit here, but you know, I don't know. That's just that that's the way I see it. I really like it, and I like the two different worlds, the peel the pills and the um normal reality and the fact that there was the five realities and I just I really like that whole thing how when she took the pill she could see into the other realities I thought that was really cool um so yeah I, no I um I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed playing this game and I'm kind of sad that it's over but it's it's no it was a good game I enjoyed it that ending oh my god that ending dropped Mr. Midnight off a cliff I I, I, I was so annoying and then shot Fran I could have cried I was so ready to cry when shot Shan shot, sh when shot when they shot Fran I was so ready to cry but then they managed to bring her back and oh damn that ending was just it was fantastic it was awesome it was really well done it was a really good game I really enjoyed it I realize I'm repeating myself I apologize so before I keep repeating myself, I'm going to end this here. Thank you all for joining me um, with my first Let's Play, my first full game that I've played. Um, I hope that you all enjoy Fran, Fran Bow. I will find another game. I haven't yet decided which one, um, but there will be another game coming out shortly. Uh, I've got others up on my channel. Um, I started I Am Bread, so I'm going to be playing that. I've also started, which is being uploaded at the moment, um, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, I've started that, so that's going up on my channel as well. So I have a few games lined up ready to go, so check them all out. Um, I'll put links to this in the description below to uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, that's already going to be up there by the time you see this. <laughs> it's going to be up there for a few days by the time you see this. But um, yeah, I'll put it in, in the description below. I'll put a link to Five Nights at Freddy's, to I Am Bread. I've also put a link to this playlist if you want to watch it from the beginning. Um, also, there is links to my Facebook and my Twitter, so go like me on Facebook, go follow me on Twitter. And if you haven't already, subscribe to me today. Uh, I'm hoping to bring out more games. Well, actually, not hoping to. I'm going to be bringing out more games, hoping to bring out more entertaining um, stuff for you guys to watch. Um, yeah, so feel free to subscribe. Keep up to date upset if you want watch my videos whatever you want to do it's all good um i hope that you all enjoyed frambo i really enjoyed frambo if you have any suggestions on any games i could play please put them in the comments below i look at my comments and i will read them and take into 
yeah, take your suggestions in. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Thank you all for joining me with Fran and Bo. So I hope that you all enjoyed it. So thank you very much. Um, and yes, I hope you come back for more. Thanks guys. Bye bye.